Phil, here we are at uh, Countryside Methodist Church, a famous landmark in the Topeka tornado. In 1966, a uh, Capitol Journal photographer named Perry Riddle put his family off here to take shelter and got his Nikon out of his trunk and started shooting, shooting pictures as the tornado came over Burnett's Mound. Unfortunately, uh, in 45 years, the trees have grown up and you can't see much, but in 1966, this was wide open and he got some incredible pictures of the tornado as it moved in towards the city. Yeah, just coming through, just to the left, just to the left of the uh, of the cross there, that building, uh, there's just some really famous fo uh, photos of yeah. the tornado with people running. Yeah, I, I interviewed Mr. Riddle, and he said that it was still raining a little bit, so to keep the lens of his camera dry, he kept pulling his underwear out and drying it, and kept shooting. All right, let's go down here and Sir? see if we can look at another one of these uh, see if we can famous find photographs. That picture on the cover. Right. Right. So the amazing thing is that this guy could be that far away. It's only about a half mile, but you get so many really good, powerful shots. Well, two miles from the mound. Okay, was that what it was? Yeah, two miles. Two miles. Okay. So he was a good distance, but he, he was really on his game that day because you can tell he's changing positions. He's uh, doing tight shots. He's doing vertical shots. Right. Incredible photographer. And even at that point, he doesn't really even know if it's coming at him. Well, he does. Might be turning. Yeah. You know, he never knows. But he... nobody at that point knew which way it was going to go so I think into we, the city. If we walk on down here, we'll be able to look down the one street that's uh, actually on the cover of the book here. So we're headed down to this street. There's the Burnett's Mound. It's coming over there. So let's go see if we can find that shot. Sounds like a plan. So that's the street right there, huh, Phil? That's it. I know it doesn't look like anything on the book anymore, but. And we're not at the right angle to see it. Of course, we could get at the right angle and you still wouldn't be able to see it because of all the trees. But that is this shiny street mm -hmm. that's on the front of the book with the, the tornado going up. And the top of that house is the top of that house. But, you know, one thing that is so spooky about these pictures, even though they're black and white, you can really get a sense for the strange color of the uh, of that evening. The, that's true. Kind of yellow, uh, gray, you know, green. Right. If sky. you've ever been around one of those skies, you know exactly what we're yeah. talking about. And that's something that people repeatedly commented on was just how incredibly, I guess, portentous the atmosphere seemed to be immediately before the tornado right. hit. And right. almost an electricity in the air and this incredibly uh, terrifying green sky, you sure. know. And even when you're in, a, in an area where there's where there's not even a tornado warning, you can see that kind of sky if you've seen one before and say, this looks kind of tornadic. Yeah, yeah, yeah we know what that's like. 